Hello there, MKJ here, and I wanted to explain or show you how uh, my specific task bots work and how you can use them to uh, gather the data and uh, send out the messages that you're looking to send out. So let me go ahead and share my screen and we're going to just go through this whole process together. So if you see, I have TaskBot subscriptions. I've subscribed to my own and I subscribe to a few more. And so the one um, I'm going to talk about is the agency leads TaskBot. So when you subscribe to that and you come to this page, you'll see instructions, you'll see where you need to enter cookies. The one that it automatically lands you on is enter data. You'll see data tables, scheduler, reports, and then the settings. And one of the things you can do is go to the settings and specifically toggle this on to show the TaskBot while it runs, at least the first couple of times so that you can see when the TaskBot opens a browser and what it's doing. If you don't want to, just toggle that off. But I'm going to leave it on so that I can show you. Um, the first thing you need to do is obviously go and read the instructions. Uh, you need to run this on Chrome. Here you have to have uh, your cookies um, and it shows you where to get your cookies. There's this, uh, this uh, edit this cookie a Chrome extension that you can get that automatically will get the cookies for your Facebook account. So you'll open Facebook and when Facebook is open and you're logged in, you're just going to click this edit cookies and you're going to come over here to the one, two, three, four, fifth over from the left, click that and it will automatically copy your cookies. And that is what you put here under this step two. And now let's go to the data. So there are two things you can do with this specific tax task bot, this has been designed for agencies and freelancers who are looking for businesses. And on Facebook, the businesses typically have a business Facebook page. So this task bot is not applicable if you want to contact individuals, people, let's say your suggested friends list. I'll show you that. That's a separate task bot. Um, so I, if I'm going to look for businesses, the first way I can uh, find those businesses is, is again, I'm going to go and, and uh, there's two ways. So bear with me. This is the first one. I'm going to go to Facebook. I'm going to go into the search bar and I'm going to do my search. I'm going to be specific as to what niche. So let's say I want to find, oh, um, mindset coaches. Okay. I'm going to click that. And then we have all of these options. You're going to get groups. You're going to get a bunch of stuff on this uh, right-hand side. But the left-hand side is what I want. So this is going to give you all the categories, ev everything in that search for Mindset Coach. You can look for posts. You can look for people, photos, videos, marketplace, all those things. But for this task bot, you're going to go to Pages. And if Mindset Coaches are the people you want to target for your business on Facebook and you don't already have a list a CSV file or some kind of other file that you've already scraped from somewhere else. If you don't have that and you need to start with a search, that's what you're going to do. So then you're going to come up here. You're going to copy this link or this URL, excuse me. You're just going to copy the URL because it is already designated as pages and it already has your search criteria, mindset coaches. And you're going to go put that in right here. Enter the link that represents the niche keywords for the pages you wish the bot to save. And so you can see this has mindset coach. Okay. So I'll just, I've already done that. So let's go ahead and just paste it again. Make sure it's correct. Yep. All right. So that's what you can do. Now, the next thing you're going to do, if you're going to do this from scratch and you don't already have a list, then you're going to limit the number of profiles you want the task bot to save to your data table. And I'll show you the data table in just a minute. And I just put in five just for my own testing reasons, but I wouldn't personally suggest you uh, have more than a hundred profiles, unless you are just going to use this to DM everybody, which again, I would recommend against. <laughs> uh, Facebook doesn't like that. You're going to need to limit the number of DMs you send every day. So if you have to limit the number of DMs you send every day, you also need to limit the number of pages you collect. Because if you collect 5,000 pages and you can only DM a hundred people a day, why would you gather 5,000 pages? It's going to take you a long time to contact all those 5,000 pages, right? So I would limit this personally to about 100 a day, but that's me. It's up to you. I would suggest you don't go over 1,000. <clears> Thousand, <throat> Definitely not. Because how long is it going to take you to DM those people? 
All right, so let's say 100, and I'm going to put a DM. As you can see here, newer accounts, you might uh, need to only send maybe 8 to 15 DMs a day. Older accounts, it could be 30 to 100, right? So if you're going to collect 100 profiles, and you want to DM all 100 of them, and you don't want to look and see which ones are qualified, I suggest you do, because there's going to be a lot of junk in there as well that may not apply to what you're looking for. So let's say, let's just say for argument's sake, I want to do 50 of those, okay? Now you're going to actually put in your actual DM. And here's where you can use this thing called spin tax. And you can actually vary this DM. And I highly recommend you do this. I also highly recommend that you don't start this process with an immediate cold DM that asks them to, to have a call to action, right? A CTA, buy my thing, sign up for my webinar, attend my event, um, watch my videos, right? I don't respond to those ever. I mean, maybe other people do. I'm sure there's a numbers game out there. That's why most people want to, to scrape thousands of people off the internet so that they can get a, you know, 1% of the people that click through and they're happy. I'm not happy with that. I would rather have quality over quantity. So I am going to use this initial DM as an initial relationship DM. So here again, just stopping by to say thanks for sharing your expertise. This is a page on mindset coaches, right? What other social platforms do you use to share your content? Do you manage your own DMs or are they automated? That's my initial. You don't have to leave it there. That's just the example that you are given based on me building this task bot that you can use and definitely customize to yourself. Definitely, you don't need to use mine. So, but the, the difference is with the spin tax, you can say hi, hello, or howdy. That's kind of the way I talk or hi there. What other social platforms, other, and you can, you can use this in spin tax as well. So you, instead of social platforms, you can say uh, possibly um, social media programs, right? So you can there again, vary because the bot's going to vary that DM so that Facebook doesn't think you just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste the exact same message. Facebook will give you a warning if you do that. So we need to vary it a little bit, right? Um, and, and then you can say whatever you'd like to say. You can even personalize the text by taking the first name if that's offered, right? So here's the data table and this has the page name. So if you want to add the page name, you can. Other bots that actually have uh, Facebook profiles, they're going to have the person's name. I probably wouldn't personalize this one because it's going out to pages and you don't know who is responding in those pages. And then you need your email address so that if the cookies expire, which they do every couple of months typically, um, then the bot will notify you that you need to go back in and copy your cookies again. So that's what all you need to do is choose the number of profiles you want, or excuse me, pages you want saved, the number of DMs you want sent, uh, what the message is with spin tax and variability, your email address, and the actual niche that you want the bot to serve or to, to uh, collect. And that when you hit run, that's what will happen. All right. So that's the first thing that happens. That's the first way. Let me also just show you really quickly the uh, data table and what's in that data table so that you can see exactly what this bot does. And this is going to show you that you can also, the second way that I'll go over in just a minute, uh, the second way that you can use this is by actually uploading a CSV file that has uh, the appropriate information in it. Um, so I'll talk about that in a sec. Let's just go to the actual data table. It's going to collect the page name. So if we look at this page, Scott Oldford, Coach Tara, Meredith Shirk, right? That's the page name, okay? So it's going to collect the page name, the page link. So the actual link to that page, when you click this, it opens that page, right? Uh, the number of followers, so it's going to actually show the number of followers that this has, so 38,000 followers, 14,000 followers, 173,000, right? That's as likes, but it's going to look for a uh, page, the number of followers. Email, if there is an email that is provided on there, and sometimes there is, it will collect that. What is the website that is listed for that page? It will collect that. And if there is any data on ads, not currently running ads or no data, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then it'll say what topics this page has uh, offered ads in the past. And then here's the part where you come in. If you want to just do everybody, if you just want to DM everybody, then you would just come in here and hit yes for everybody. And you can just, you know, copy that and just go through and 
hit yes for everybody. Okay, just all the way down if you want all of them. And I'm going to delete this because when I run it, it will send these messages. And then <clears throat> once, once you qualify them, the people that you want to send a DM to, the bot will automatically send the, uh, send the DM and it will fill this out. DM status sent. It will say sent here. And it checks this to make sure that everything was gathered and that it isn't duplicating. So I'm not going to get five Scott Oldfords on here, right? That's what this is going to collect if you want uh, to use that collection, if you want to put that niche link from your Facebook um, search and pages. Now, if you want to add your own CSV file, you said you, you, you might have a list of people um, that you've scraped out of Facebook groups. Now, this is my question. Are, is this a list of pages? And if it is, this is the appropriate task bot to use. If you go into Facebook groups, typically that's going to be profiles, personal profiles. And that's another task bot, okay? This specific task bot runs on Facebook pages. So if you have already scraped, use a scrape, scraping tool, use another bot, whatever, and you've gathered all these pages, you can upload them into this data table. Remember, make sure that the appropriate columns are listed. Page name, page link, number of followers, email, website, and current ads, if that's available. If that's not available and this is just blank, oh well, all right? What's going to happen is the bot will come after you upload that. You can actually put a yes under qualified. Make sure there's a column for that. Put a yes under qualified and the bot will automatically go through. This has already been collected. So it will automatically send those DMs to all of the pages that you have said are qualified. So you can upload your own CSV file right here. Just click that, upload CSV, choose the file. You can either overwrite the current data, or I would suggest you just delete any data. There shouldn't be any data in there if you haven't run this at all, and then update it. Just make sure, like it says, the column names must match the data tables columns. So put those columns in that order, and it will automatically upload, put in there, and then the bot will automatically send all your DMs for you. Now, you will still, when you're in this data, if you uh, upload a CSV file, you will still need to at least put something here. Let's say a one. You can't go past that without at least putting something in there. So then you have to also have another, a, uh, you know, some type of a niche category that you're searching for. And that's just for you to put one person in or one page in there. If you're going to use your own data table, that's fine. But at least put in a one and uh, put in that and fill in this link because it won't let you go without that because those are required fields because some people um, do that. I have that as a minimum criteria. So just put in that search criteria, put in a one for the number of uh, pages you want to save, and then you can put the number of DMs that's appropriate for you so that you will keep your uh, Facebook account secure and not get flagged and use this, uh, this information here up to up to 100 DMs a day, um, unless you already know that yours is different if you've tried this already. And then if you have that already uploaded into the database, the, you've uploaded the, uh, in, in the data table, you've uploaded your CSV file, and you have, have just one person or one page collected, and you have this um, link, then you can hit run, and what the bot will do, will be, they will see, it will see that all that information is already there, as if it had already collected it previously. It doesn't know the difference. And collect one more page. And then it will go through and DM a hundred of those people in a day. And then the next day, same thing. It'll find one. And then it will go and DM another hundred. As long as those are listed as qualified. So that's how you can use this task bot for pages and designate either a new list that you're going to collect off of Facebook or a, an uploaded CSV file of pages that you already have that you're going to update, uh, upload and send automatic DMs to. So yes, it will send your automated DMs. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Callmemkj.com, right? Thanks.